The official findings of an archaeological survey on the former Arawak burial ground, which forms part of the multi-million dollar Kabat development, has been released. The report gives an all-clear for the continuation of the development on Mount Hardy. The former Arawak burial ground, with its archaeological significance today, has been the focus of major media attention, with concerns being raised by the St. Lucia National Trust. The developers, Cabot St. Lucia, under the recommendation of the St. Lucia National Trust, engaged the services of eminent and internationally respected archaeologist Dr. Reginald Murphy to undertake a physical study of the area. He described his research as bittersweet from an archaeologist's perspective, as he had hoped to discover significant archaeological findings, but found nothing remarkable. Now, as far as the development potential or the archaeology of the site, we can say it's been almost totally eroded, washed out natural causes and vehicular traffic. It's unfortunate, but that's the reality of that particular site. We did a complete comparison. We looked at where people excavated before. We found those spots. Um, they were gone, almost bedrock in most places. Then we looked at where the, the, the houses were located, because those are also mapped by the, the University of Leiden. They're completely gone. We looked at the burial ground area. That's all gone. And by the way, no complete individuals are found there, just partial remains of over 40 people. The study was also a requirement of the local DCA in order to grant permission to Cabot to continue works in that specific area. The local archaeological and historical society was asked to consult with DCA and to prepare the terms of reference for the study. President of the Archaeological and Historical Society, Dr. Winston Filgens, confirmed the integrity of the survey. I would want to focus solely on our role in, this, in all of this. Um, we, we advised the DCA. The advice that we gave was that a proper archaeological assessment was supposed to be done. The report has come back. We have read the report. The report are according to terms of reference. The report are also according to the normal um, archaeological assessment projects around the world. And we satisfied that the gentleman who did the work, Mr. Mr. Murphy, did what he was asked to do, and the report has met our terms. Dr. Murphy was also asked to give an expert opinion as to whether his findings hindered the developers from moving forward. All I can say is from professional archaeological opinion, opinion, there's nothing there of cultural heritage values, tangible values, worthy of, say, stopping a project. I, I mean, again, if I'm asked to make a decision, to, sh should they go ahead and do it? I look at the values of the job creations, you have to look at the economical values, I have to look at all those things and balance it out against heritage, because heritage must be seen to be contributing financially, otherwise no sites are going to be saved. We have to look at the economic values of heritage. And this is a good example of, you have a heritage site, you study it, and if you have to put the development in, you study it until there's nothing left and get everything you can out of it, and then you can develop it, but you have the historical document. This is the kind of case I think, I would say yes, it could be developed at this point in time. The Cabot team has welcomed the findings and the green light to proceed with the works in the location of concern. CEO of Cabot St. Lucia is Christine Thompson. Living in harmony with our communities is at the core of what we value as a corporation. And what that means is not only providing economic opportunities for the members of that community, but also respecting and protecting the flora and fauna on the site, the history of the site, the peoples that live there, the marine environment that surrounds the site, the conservation of scarce resources like water. So for example, on this course, we will use all drought resistant strains of grass so that we can serve whatever resources that we have and really protecting the environment in the best possible way that we can. One of the key recommendations of the archaeology report is that an archaeologist be present when any digging or excavation work is taking place in that specific area. Cabot has noted that they are working closely with the local archaeological and historical society to facilitate this and has also committed to erecting a monument in the area to memorialize the indigenous peoples. From the Government Information Service, Rajvaro Lawrence reporting.